Hello and welcome back to another um, episode in this series looking at building a Hudson Hunts lo Loco, uh, the 24 horsepower diesel in 60mm scale. Um, today we're going to have another look at this sheet metal piece. Um, so this is the piece I kind of built up, uh, uh, bent up by hand. Um, it's not a particularly good fit for where it needs to go. Um, creases aren't sharp, it's not square etc. Um, and if you remember in the last video we were talking about how I was thinking of ways I could do this. Um, without having to resort to printing it which I thought might be a bit too uh, fragile on a, on a, on a model um, and I talked about seeing if I could form this shape um, using some kind of forming tool that maybe I could 3D print um, so I've been having to think about that and I've had some ideas and I've, I've, I've printed up a first, first attempt which is these two parts now um, I've seen some examples of uh, metal forming using 3D parts um, on YouTube before, especially on the, the Stuff Made Here um, channel, which if you haven't seen I'll stick a, a link in the description. Um, you should go watch. Um, now there he's forming much thicker metal than I am. I've got you know half millimeter aluminium, it's quite soft. Um, but um, yeah, in, in principle he's got 3D printed pieces uh, for forming the metal so I thought you know it was worth giving it a go um, but obviously I need to put some force into this so these things are kind of printed kind of big and chunky but let's, let's explain what we've got so firstly this piece is essentially um, the same shape at the top as this piece from the model so on the model if you remember this piece is supposed to fit around here like that to form the kind of um, the, the cover over the control panels at the back of the engine um, so essentially this is the piece that we want to form round and as you can see it fits nicely inside the um, the existing bit I bent up by, by hand. Um, I've added a couple of pins at either side, I actually had a weird um, kind of brain fade moment and made them made them a bit too long, I've filed them, filed them down but the idea being that um, they help um, to centre this part in the in the kind of second piece of the the forming tool essentially which is this big block now essentially um what you can hopefully see on the inside of here if i get the light right is that this is kind of the the the, the negative image of this but sized slightly bigger so in theory there should be enough space when you push these two parts together to get the half millimeter thick aluminium between them and the idea being that this kind of slots in there like that and you can see it doesn't quite doesn't quite fit perfectly because there's this half millimeter gap but the idea being that when you start initially pushing down um, these pins will kind of ride in these in these slots uh, and help and help hold it in place so that's the idea anyway um, these lumps on the top um, are so that I can take a strip of the aluminium I want to bend uh, place it square across the hole um, so it won't twist sideways as it starts to bend and the idea is these pins actually I ended up filing them down too far they should be just ever so slightly long enough so that they when you I mean they are just about right now but when you put um, the form tool on top of the metal even before you start bending it they should just start to engage in the top of these guides and um, they just about do so um, obviously there's a few things I need to modify here I made the these pins to be the same width apart as the sheet I intended to print and that meant that it was a bit of a tight fit so you can see I've, I've filed these back as I say I got the pins on this completely wrong um, why I then filed that obviously because uh, they need to protrude up above the top surface as you can see here so that when the metal is in place uh, they fit in the guides but I didn't I don't want them bottoming out in the bottom of the hole so the hole actually continues further down but I'd made these pins so long that I couldn't actually get the former all the way to the bottom of the hole. Um, in retrospect, I probably could because there's the half a million meter of aluminium plate in the way. But I, I filed them back quite aggressively and, um, yeah, as I say, totally forgot I wanted them to be long enough to engage in the hole to start with. Um, so anyway, so that's, that's the form. I haven't tried it yet. Um, I've cut myself uh, two pieces of aluminium sheet. I don't think they're actually quite... Maybe they are quite long enough to make the whole piece, but at the moment that's not what this test is about. It's just about seeing can I form that top shape um, with these kind of initial 3D printed parts. If I can, then obviously I will revise this, um, possibly to fix some of the issues. Um, 
with the pins and the, and the spacing, but also possibly to see whether I can then do this this 90 degree fold step um, as well. Uh, but for now, I mean, the, the the only option really I've got is to try it uh, and see if it works. So that's the that's the thing I'm going to try next. Right, so apologies for the mess, but here we are. We're set up with uh, with the form tool. Um, I've decided I, c I could try pushing it down by hand, um, but I don't think that's necessarily going to work and stay straight. So what I've done is I've got it set up um, on the on the lathe. I've just rested the the form tool on the on the bed there, uh, set up underneath the milling column, so I can pull down on this handle here. Uh, which will take the milling column up and down, and hopefully should provide some um, my ability to kind of give it a bit of a bit of um, a bit of force. Um, I've just kind of centered it by eye. Um, I may need to actually have holes in the tool so I can put it on the milling table and, and hold it properly. I don't know yet. Um, obviously, as I say, that the the example I was looking at on the stuff made here channel had um, I think a hydraulic press for doing this, so a lot more force. But again, a lot thicker aluminium. So, um, yeah, the only way we're going to see if this works is if I give it a try. So let's let's see what happens. I'm going to pull it down gently. Right, so there we go. It's starting to engage in the metal and it's bending. So I've obviously got enough force. The question is, how much force have I got? And is it making the shape at the bottom of the tool correctly? So I'm pushing as hard as I can. It's not going anywhere. So I don't want to damage my milling column. Um, so let's take this out. I'll have a look, um, see if I can get it out. Um, right. So, switched back to the, the other view um, briefly. Um, easier for me to hold and show you the parts. Uh, and this is what we've got. Um, for a first attempt, that looks pretty good. It's a little curved, possibly, across the top. I'm not sure, um, but I didn't have to provide much in the way of force that yeah, so you can see it's not the most perfect of shapes at the very, very top, um, but actually I think that's probably not huge, a huge issue. I mean, obviously it now won't fit here because of the, the, the issue with the step on the side of this part. Um, I think I can probably get away with that. I can probably just kind of... Um, squish that flat yeah there we go um and that's now fitting fitting nice and flat um there it's not perfect um by any means but i think yeah i, I think that i can probably if we look at it on here So if I push this down, it forces these sides out. But I can, I, you know, once you've got it to the rough, sorry, that was probably out of camera shot, wasn't it? It's like, if I if I push it in here, um, it forces the sides out slightly. They're not as quite as tight a corner. But once I've obviously got the ma the gen general shape, you know, forcing this just this little bit further on either side by hand is then easy enough. Um, and I can then get that to fit um, and continue to kind of manually kind of massage that if necessary um, and yeah that then that then you know if I was just if I was just making this part on its own I think I'd be reasonably happy with that because um, you know you'd be able to kind of as I say massage it slightly and once it's glued into place I think that's pretty good. Um, yeah, I'm not having to do much in the way of forcing it down. It's it's not as I say, it's not perfect. Um, yeah, so it may be that I need to just tweak the the gap slightly. Um, so I want what do I need? I need these corners to be looking at it. I need these corners to be ever so slightly further out so I don't know if that's that I've got the hole in the bottom not quite the right place I don't know um, I mean if I obviously if I push it in nice and tight it it, it, it pulls it in tightly um, 
and gets it nice and flat. So I think it's yeah, I think it's not bad. Um, and as I say, force to actually bend it was minimal. Um, so yeah, I'm quite happy with that. Um, I think I'm going to have to do a bit more experimenting because obviously I need and only to. I mean, this is you know, it's a in comparison to this one, it, 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 it's 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 basically you know, we've basically got the same shape. I said there's a bit of curving in this top piece here, um, but I think I can, as I say, I think it's the kind of thing you can work out with your hands while massaging it slightly to get it on the on the model, and it's the kind of thing you'd have to do on with an etched part as well because um, with an etched part you'd have similar similar issues of curving it round um, so I'm, I'm re yeah, reasonably happy with that um, as I say the next question is how do I get it to do the step um, as I say I bought you know if you've seen the, the review I did I posted um, yesterday I think um, I bought this um, metal brake um, which allows me to do nice 90 degree corners um, but unfortunately you can't kind of do a 90 degree corner one way and then the other because um, you can't get it under the tool um, so I'll, I'll have to kind of have another have another think about that um, but yeah that that's for a first try I'm quite happy with that um, I'll have to as I say I'll have to have a go back and have another another think about whether the, the, the form tools um, need any correction to um to deal with the to try and make this slightly flatter and tighter um given that you can't see inside the tool it's a bit difficult to know quite what's going on um i mean you can see if i if i push this right into the bottom it's not quite pulled it all the way across which is what's causing so that's causing these sides to come out um which means that where it started to fold isn't quite perfectly in the right place um but again as i say i think you know that 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 flexing outwards if you've got something to glue it to which we do on the on the model um then i think that's the kind of thing that that i, I can live with that um so yeah it's just a question of whether i can whether i can forge the other shape um for the step um so yeah there we go update definitely looks successful you've now seen my lathe and a little bit more of my messy work area um so yeah, so obviously, um, again, there might be a while until the next update while I have a, a think about next steps and, and what to do. But I think we can call that a success for just at least forming the, the thin sheet with the 3D printed um, form tool. Um, so yeah, that was that was really good. Hope you enjoyed.